Hello everyone, this is Kenny Brony from Cambridge Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to build a Python application that's going to generate QR code for us. Now this is a very simple application and we are going to use a third party Python library called QR code. So inside of my VS code text editor, I have this folder over here and I'm going to create in a Python file. I'll call this app.py. So you have app.py over here. Now back into our browser, we are going to go into the Python package index. I'll leave this link in the description below. And obviously this is a go-to place for Python packages. Remember, I made a video on how to deploy a package over here. I'll leave the link in the description below and that's what I have it showing up over here. So over here, we are going to look at the QR code. So we'll type in QR code over here and press enter. And it's about this first one. So we have QR code 7.3.1. We we'll click on this link and here we are. So there's some kind of project description over here. We are not going to go so much deep into this, but I'm going to show you how you can quickly generate a QR code. So over here, we'll click on this link. And inside of our terminal, we come and paste it over here. So we have pip install QR code and we press enter. So this is going to install the package in here and it's going to take um about a minute or so all right so just about now the package is duly installed and now we can use it in order for us to check we can actually do a pip when we do a pip list this command will basically list all the python packages we have installed on our system and they are quite a number over here but then this is a qr code we just installed so we have qr code and this is a version 7.3.1 all right so we are rest assured that we have qr code now we can start working with it so i'm going to run an import so i'll do import qr code so clearly you can see that we don't seem to have qr code showing up over here and that's simply because we need to restart our id so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to close this and restart all right so after restarting uh, vs code or any id of your choice we just type in import qr code so now you can see that we have qr code showing up over here and with just three lines of code we are going to create or we are going to generate a qr code so after importing this then we can instantiate this class so basically what that simply means is we can call qr code and we can have some methods in here so there's a dot make method over here and inside of this we pass in any data of our choice so the data for which we want to generate a qr code from good now this is going to be stored in a variable let's call this variable image so image is going to be equal to we instantiating this class and saving it in the variable image then the obvious question is where is the data so for the purpose of this demonstration i'm going to go into my browser and go to youtube and go to my channel so i'm going to use my link over here as the data so i'll copy this link and i'll come back over here so let me just have something like url or data is equal to and i'll put this in a string so i have http www.youtube.com forward slash cambrutech so i'm going to pass in my url over here as a data and now when i do image which is the objects i've created i can do image.save and i need to give it a name so i'll say kbt underscore qr code and this kbt underscore qr code is going to be the name of the image file that is going to be generated over here but then again i need to give it um an image extension so i'll do dot jpg so now when i save this and this are uh, file directory system currently there's nothing over here but then when i run this program you can see that now i have kbt qr code dot jpg now i'll go into the, my folder and this is a qr code image i just created so when I open this up, 
and there's a QR code. So you can basically scan this and it is going to send you to that link. And I've seen a number of applications where people just put out their QR code and embedded in it is some kind of data that they want to display. So the application of this package is endless. And if you go through the documentation, which um, I think you should go through, there are a number of things that we can do. So basically this is just uh, what I demonstrated. And this is just for, let's say, a very simple use case. There are some advanced use cases where we can have in a number of things over here. And we can even specify a color for how the QR code should appear. But I think the black and white is usually what you would want to do. So you can just scan this. I mean, I'll leave this image over here. You can just pause your video. And if you have a QR code scanner on your phone, you can scan this and, and it will link you to the Cambrotech YouTube page. All right, so this is going to be the end of this video. I know it's a very simple and short one, but this shows how you can generate a QR code with just four lines of code. I mean, technically it's supposed to be three because I just have this showing up over here. Now, if you find this tutorial very interesting, there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel. Kindly subscribe to Cambrotech and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime I release a video, you'll be duly notified. Also, share this video with friends and family who will find this content very useful. At Cambrotech, we say learn programming. You can do it. Bye-bye and catch you in the next video.